Welcome to the tools installation video of the STM32WB Getting Started series. I'm Joe Tiarina and I'll be walking you through the steps to find and install the basic tools needed to start developing on the STM32WB. The STM32WB has a rich ecosystem of software tools embedded software and iOS and Android apps. In summary, these are the software tools that we will install. The STM32 CubeMX, which is a graphical configuration tool for generating initialization code for the system and peripherals. The STM32 CubeWB, which is the embedded software package that includes the low-level drivers, middleware, wireless stacks, and application examples for the STM32WB. The Cube IDE, which is ST's free IDE tool to develop and debug code. The Cube Programmer is a software tool for programming the WB and allows developers to read, write, and verify the device memory. Cube Monitor RF offers the ability to monitor and test Bluetooth LE connections on the WB. Cube Monitor Power is a software tool that is used with the X Nucleo LPM01A power shield board used to measure power consumption of an embedded system. We'll also need a serial terminal, so we'll be installing TerraTerm, but any other terminal software will also work. And last, we'll be showing how to install STBLE sensor and LightBlue Explorer apps on an Android and iOS device. These are needed to connect and interact with the provided WB Bluetooth LE examples. But before we get started, make sure your Windows PC meets the minimum system requirements listed here. It is also recommended to create a my.st.com account to take advantage of the features listed here, although it is not mandatory to download software. You can register for an account from my.st.com. Let's get started by opening a web browser and going to st.com. Then we can search for STM32 Cubemax from the search bar. Once on the main STM32 Cubemax page, scroll down to find the download button. Go ahead and accept the license agreement and log in with your my.st.com account. Then you should see the software download begin. Once the download is complete, go to the directory where it was downloaded and unzip the file. Once unzipped, run the .exe as administrator. Check the box to accept the license agreement and SD privacy in terms of use. This is the directory where the tool will be installed which I, I will leave as is to start the installation. The installation is now complete and its icon should be available from the desktop. Now we can install the STM32 Cube WB package which we would do from STM32 CubeMX that we just installed. Click on the Install Remove button, scroll down to find the STM32WB and expand it. Then check the box corresponding to version 1.7, which is the latest at the time of this video recording, and click Install Now. Once installed, the box will be shaded in green. Now we go back to SD.com and search for STM32 Cube Programmer to install it next. Click the Get Software to download and accept the license agreement. Once the download is complete, go to the directory where it was downloaded and unzip the file. Once unzipped, find the .exe and run as administrator. Accept the license agreement and click Next. I'll leave the default installation path. I'll keep the default settings here. Note that the Cube Programmer installer will also automatically install the ST-Link debugger and DFU bootloader drivers, so you don't have to install these individually. The installation is now complete. Next to install is STM32 Cube IDE, which we'll search for once again in st.com. Click Get Software to download and accept the license agreement. 
once the download is complete, go to the directory where it was downloaded and unzip the file. Once unzipped, find the .exe and run as administrator. Agree to the license agreement and click Next. Leave all the boxes checked to install the drivers for all debuggers supported. And the installation is now complete. Now let's install STM32 Cube Monitor RF. So let's search for it. Scroll down and click Software to download. Accept the license agreement. And once download is complete, go to the directory where it was downloaded and unzip the file. Once unzipped, find the .exe and run as administrator. Okay, as usual, accept the license agreement, click Next. Install and the installation is now complete. Next on the install list is Cube Monitor Power. So let's go back to sd.com and search for Cube Monitor Power to download it. Once downloaded, you'll have to unzip the file as we've been doing with the previous installations, then run the .exe as administrator to install it. The installation is now complete. We'll also need Terraterm. So from a browser, you can use a search engine like Google to search for it. Once found, we can download it. Once downloaded, we can install it as usual by running the .exe as administrator. Accept the license agreement and continue clicking next until complete. It's okay to keep all the default settings in this case. We've now completed installing all basic software tools needed for STM32WB development, and there should be an icon for each of these on your desktop. Last, we will install the STBLE sensor app on your Android or iOS device. So from the Android Play Store or App Store, search for STBLE sensor and tap install. Once complete, we'll also want to install third-party app Light Blue Explorer. Once the installation is complete, you can see the app icons on your home screen. This completes the tools installation procedure. You now have all the cube based tools needed to tackle all your configuration, coding, programming, testing, and measuring needs to start developing on the STM32WB. You're now ready to proceed with the following videos of the STM32WB Getting Started series and others that make use of these tools. Thank you for watching.